Bloodstrike is a game far superior to Warzone Mobile when it comes to movement. The movement in the game is generally faster and feels less clunky. So here's a tutorial for movement in Bloodstrike. Starting with the basics, you have zigzag, which is simply just moving left and right to throw your enemy's aim off you. Don't do this like a crazy person and combine it with slide cancelling to really throw your enemy's aim off you. Which brings me to my next point, slide cancelling. This is basically sliding, but cancelling it before you reach the end of your slide to control the length of your slide. This is useful to slide past corners to surprise enemies, but should be combined with my next point, which is jumping. The jump spam in this game is pretty weak, but if you slide and jump, you should be able to get to jumps without completely losing momentum. Combine slide cancelling and jumps to be unpredictable in movement. The last and most basic yet most effective movement is strafing, which is simply moving your joystick left and right to move while you shoot. Not that you should move it in one direction longer than the other, cause if you move it too fast, you'll just end up staying in one spot. Strafing is most effective because it can be combined with zigzags, sliding, and jumping to truly make you an unpredictable movement player. The last on my list is peeking, which isn't really a movement, but is something that can help you gain information without revealing too much of yourself. Just jiggle your joystick in and out like this to briefly see what's on the other side. Now that you know how to do movement, how about you check my page to see the top 5 strikers in this season of Bloodstrike.